Welcome back to another episode of Gary Responds, where we read what you typed out, word for word, except for the punctuation. I'm not gonna say commas and periods and stuff. Let's get it. JFN Cho says, as someone that has to wear glasses to see, I have no idea why anyone would wear them, <laughs> would wear non-prescription glasses. Uh, me neither, you know? And then I always think about it like watching Family Matters, like when Steve Urkel used to become Stefan Urkel and he didn't have glasses, like, oh, that motherfucker was wearing fake glasses too. Or when he did the transformation, was he putting in contact lenses? Who knows? Mon 40 ounce says, seeing Josh Kalis play with a remote control car with his dogs was a highlight of my week. Yeah, that was a little tearjerker. I love that moment. Especially when he smacked the car and he was just like, I'll rebuild it. I feel like he just crashed them every week. It's like, that's good. More plastic on top of it. Dude, to have you ever had a toy car that went faster than, like, I had a couple when I was a kid. They never went fast. They suck. And they broke quick. But Josh Kalis looks like his was beast. Shout out Josh Kalis, man. Dominic Marino 4662 says, we love you, Gary. Don't ever give up. I don't have plans to give up. I don't ever want to give up. Anything, I don't like giving up. I really do not. Like, it's something about making sure that you power through shit that just really puts a battery in my back. People be like, oh no, forget it. No, I can't. If I'm looking for something or if I'm, I just don't. Like if I drop something up or I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go back and retreat. I remember I dropped a bracelet in Europe one time. I went back and found it. <laughs> like it was like silver on the ground and I just, I just don't like giving up on shit. So you don't gotta worry about that. Jeff Smith Skater says, love the respect for Thompson. Yeah, I think seeing somebody put out those parts that is not a big, I wanted to, we wanted to just sh shed light on that because he really actually had three good parts in three different ways of filming and he's working hard and he's got a good style to him and a ridiculous idea to front board shit that you're supposed to get flipped off of. Look, broke off, like those front boards, whew, I gotta see the rough cuts behind those. That rough cut gonna be like 30 days long, he got three parts, boy tripping. Scott Void 2 says, it's interesting that Kevin Bankin was mentioned right after the Josh Kalis Love Park thing it was Kevin's dad who designed Love Park. Wow, Kevin Bacon from Footloose. Daddy designed Love Park. And somebody, like 30 years later, broke it down and broke Josh Kalis' heart. <laughs> Fuck. Moon Posture 5542 says, you didn't mention Brett Hines' OJ part that dropped. Shake my head, one of the best parts this year. You know what's crazy about that? If you watch this week's episode of Skate Line, you're gonna see that, 100%. Um, another thing is, that second sentence, one of the best parts this year, you didn't lie. That little motherfucker had some shit in there. Brett Hines is nice. Hi heinous, heinous, let's say heinous. I don't wanna say Hines, cause he's not getting fit. Heinous. Pat Zim 575 says, this is hilarious, Gary. Thank you, Pat, appreciate you, you're great. Climate Changers Death Kid says, Texas May, we do it bigger and better. Ryan Thompson, you damn right, you do it bigger. Pause, because who else is gonna think like that? He thought in Texas form, like what would be the shit? I gotta dominate a week on a skateboard. Fuck it, boom, <laughs> I did it. Dirtbags Russ says, imagine a rich knee, rich oil knee, rebuilding love with shade. Was it hot at Love Park? I never got to skate it, man. It's one of those things I actually don't like. I hate that I miss things like Love Park or Brooklyn Banks. I feel like I wouldn't even had a trick at Brooklyn Banks, but it just seemed like there's so much history there. But Love Park, man. Them ledges, I love ledges. Imagine if somebody rebuilt that shit. Like there's like this kid in the Saudi family that just loved 90s skateboarding. It's like, Papa, please. And he just built it for him. It's just to scale, even with the love, but it's like in like Arabic though. Like the love word, <laughs> still. Aaron Marto 679 says, lost me at Dubai. Why would someone want to go to Dubai? Bro, I'm having this hard time on YouTube whether people are bots or not. Cause bitch, look, I, 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 California's nice. The world is cool. I've been a couple places. Dubai has an underwater hotel. Imagine this scenario. You, your lady, having a great time in your room, eating food, blah, 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 underwater, doing the thing thing, right? Shark, go by. You're not even scared. It's just beautiful at that point. <laughs> you the climax, shark went by. You're not like, oh shit, shark. You're like, I'm protected by this underwater hotel and the shark is watching me do my thug fizzle. That's why Dubai seems interesting. So I'm gonna wrap this episode of Gary Responds. You know what I'm gonna give you, it's obvious. You come here, you know, two links. Click them, it's up to you.